trolling again. Uh, we always troll when we're on passage. But I wanted to go over a couple of things with you for trolling on this sailboat. This is what works for me. It's my favorite lure right there. Pink seems to be the color for me lately. But the top of these things are scooped. They're concave. They grab water or grab air when they splatter out of the water. I don't know if you can see that. Lure grabs, it comes up, it grabs air, and then dives back down, leaves a bubble trail behind it. If that lure isn't coming up and breaching the water from time to time, you're not going to catch anything. So, hey, if you're trolling and you got your lures way back and you never catch anything, you really have your lures too far back. We're going to drop this one back. Uh, we, we want it to have action in the water. So the max I let this thing out is probably 80 feet. It really depends on the speed. I want this lure to, to skip a little bit, come out and breathe the water. Another thing I do, I put it as high up as I can. I got rod holders mounted on here. And that works for me. See that lure? Comes up. Grab some air. Dives back down. That's kind of noisy for the fish. They'll see it, they'll hear it, and they'll come bite it. This is another lure just like it. It's a pink and blue. Oh, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to set this one up just behind that other lure probably six or seven feet and it looks like two fish swimming together and they'll wind up hitting the one in the rear the one farther back the one that's slowest i want it out of the prop wash or at least right on the edge of it you don't want it right in the middle of the prop wash or the um the wash that the boat is creating but it's right off the edge and you to let you know you don't want this lure to be out 200 300 feet or yards if you can't go fast enough. We're doing four and a half knots right now. I'd like to be doing five and a half. Uh, but I've caught fish doing four and a half knots. This is slow trolling in a sailboat. I like to put a diving plug down at least one. And um, just to give a different variety, it'll pull fish in even if they're not gonna bite it, they'll come up and bite the other lure. It's got a big lip on it. It's a deep diver for wahoo, kingfish, and possibly big dolphin. Uh, I have caught the kingfish on it, you saw in the earlier video. Uh, lots of ways of doing this, but this works for us, guys. I uh, wish us luck, and hopefully we'll get some video of the fish we caught. morning fishing trip we're out at uh conception and we're gonna go out and try to catch some dolphin in 600 plus feet we just like guys we just... good job all right got some dinner <laughs>
Turn it off or do it? Got up this morning and this thing, he was swimming around the boat. So I put my squid jig on and I caught us some calamari. <laughs> so close up to that. All right. Be edible, be edible. Kingfish. Come here. Taking it up to uh, little farmers and handing it out to oh, the locals. Oh, that would be good. 